Oh no, he said, what, by nothing but thieves. It's a song I'm talking you through in this drum tutorial. Before I crack on to this video though, if you could like and subscribe, that will help me out tremendously. And if you also want the full notated sheet music, I'll also leave a link in the description below. So I'm gonna go through all the main sections and grooves up to speed so you can see and hear exactly what's going on. And then we'll break it down again so you know exactly what is going on. So I'm going to play the intro first of all. We've got eight bars before the verse comes in. Have a listen. Goes like this. Okay. We've got three bars of rest to start with. It goes one, two, three, four, e and a in. So we've got two snare drums, four, e and a in. Now the majority of the groove in this track is an eighth note rock beat with the kick on one, two, three, four. Snare drums on the two and the four. So let's break that down. Hi-hat, one and two and three and four. And snare on the two and the four. One, and two and three and four and and the kick on the one two three four one and two and three and four and so let's go from the beginning it goes one two three four e and a one and two and three and four and third bar one and two and three and four and fourth bar, two and three and four. And now line two, got a little drum fill that does repeat itself quite a lot throughout the track, so you will get used to this. We've got one and two and a three and four and a. So the first thing that's gonna be a bit tricky is that double kick. One and two and a three. So you might wanna practice just going right foot foot. Right foot foot. One and two, right foot foot. Let's carry on. From the beginning, let's just carry on the whole bar this time. So we're gonna go one and two and a three and four and a. So beat four, hand to hand, right, left, right, left. One hand after the other. Snare, snare, high tom, snare. Whole bar, three and four and one and two and a three and four and a now bar two we've got a hi-hat choke a choke is where you open the hi-hat and you stop it pretty much straight away so we've got the same eighth note rock beat that i mentioned um in the very very first bar basically but we've got a choke on beat one so instead of going one and two and three and four and we're going one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So let's now just do the whole of the second line. Here we go. Three and four and. One and two and a three and four e and a one and two and three and four. And third bar one and two and three and four. Four and fourth bar one and two and three and four and and then you're pretty much in to verse one now verse one again using the same rhythms that we've already talked about but i'm going to play it anyway and then we we'll go through it so have a listen to verse one goes like this Okay, so the first bar we've got that one and two and three and four and a. It's that same drum feel, but without that double kick. Bar two, eighth note rock beat, but we have an open hi hat before beat four. So we're going one and two and three and four and bar three. One and two and three 
and four and bar four one and two and three and four and so that bar four is the same as bar two and again this bar does happen a lot throughout this piece so if you find that open hi-hat hard practice going halfway through the bar so you'd go three and four and so you want to open it on the and close it whilst you hit it at the same time effectively so you've got three and four and line two goes three and four and one and two and three and four and uh, into that choke again and two and three open four and bar three one and two and three and four and fourth bar one and two and three and four and last bar one and two and three and four and uh. so once you've got that and four and uh, and the choke choke and snare and the open eye at the four beat four and four and once you've got them three little sections you can start to link it all together and start to begin to play this track I'm going to go through the pre-chorus, a couple of little subtle changes in the pre-chorus, have a listen, goes like this. Okay, so the first bar we've got that eighth note rock beat. One and two and three and four. And the second bar is completely different to what we've done anywhere else in the track so far. Bar two goes one and two and three and four and uh. one and two and three and four and uh. so it's and four and uh, that's a little bit different. Third bar, nice rock beat again. Two and three and four. Line two, one and two and a three and four. And I'm going to the high tom here just for three eighth notes. One and two and a three and four and into bar two with the hi hat choke. One and two and three and four. Four and third bar one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and the last bar one and two and three and four and and then we have two bars rest before we go in to the chorus have a listen to the chorus goes like this Okay, so the first bar, eighth note rock beat, here we go. Three and four and one and two and three and four and bar two. One and two and three and four and up. We've done that already. Into line two. One and two and three and four and second bar. One and two and three and four four and bar three one and two and three and four and last bar one and two and three and four and our last line and two and three and four and one and two and three and four last bar one and two and three and four and and that's is the chorus. Now I want to go through the second pre-chorus because everything else pretty much throughout this track is exactly the same as what we've already covered but the pre-chorus, second pre-chorus, is a little bit different. It's got this drum feel that pretty much starts this pre-chorus so I'm going to play one bar before it 
one bar after it, but it's drum fill right at the beginning of the second pre-chorus. Have a listen, it goes like this. Okay, great fun to play this drum fill. So it's the second bar in the notation above. It goes one, e, and two, and da, three, and four, and. So my left hand's going under my right hand. My right hand's still playing eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and, until the last bit. Kick is still on one, two, three, four, but the hands, right, left, right, both, right, left, right, both, right, left, right. And again, two, three, four. Right, left, right, both, right, left, right, both, right, left, right. Let's do the bar before it and the bar after it. So effectively, all three bars that you can see. Here we go. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and a three and four and one and two and three and four and so many drummers they just work on a certain bar so say as a bar that's uh, a fill that's hard to play they work on that drum fill and then they still can't play it when they try it with the track and it's because they've not practiced going from the groove before it into it so it's always definitely worth doing the actual fill or whatever you find hard and then having a run up with whatever's before it so in this case play the groove going into that fill and play the groove coming out of it and that will just get you used to playing it smoothly so when you play the track it won't be a problem but everything else we've talked about in this tutorial and gone through is in the rest of the track like i said earlier if you do want my full notated sheet music link is in the description below but let me know how you got on it's a great fun track it's probably my favorite fun song to play at the moment on the kit but let me know how you got on and um let me know what you're listening to and what you possibly want to see in here on the channel next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.